Okay, so a find the odd words out question type. This will basically give you, let me highlight it, it'll give you five words and it will give you three of them will be related to each other or two of them will not be and that's pretty much all you need to know for this question type. Um, it's pretty simple. You can see, let's see, yeah, so an example here is they're going to give you these five words and two, three of them are related because all three of these are in land whereas the other two are fish and that's sort of the type of question that you're going to get so you want to be again completing these under 30 seconds per question let me just move the camera okay so the first question we want to look for three related words so immediately what stands out to you is yellow and white are actually colors um, now let's just have a look at the other three baboon leopard and sheep so what's probably happening is these three are related because they're animals um, so the relationship might not always be super clear but what you need to really look for is if there is any form of relationship between three of them um, then the other two are likely the odd ones out and what you see in a lot of these question types is they'll also make the other two related to each other but in a different way like you can see here these two are both colors so let's have a look at the second question we've got doctor driver helmsman helmsman pilot and dentist so you already know what that doctor and dentist are quite related to each other driver and pilot are also related to each other because they're both using vehicles to move around so really the only thing you need to know is what helmsman is some of you will be able to guess that it's um, also someone that uses a vehicle it's someone that steers a ship so that's why these three are related to each other so car helicopter tram bus plane all of these are vehicles but two of them are flying and that gives you helicopter and plane orange broccoli carrot berry plum so these ones are vegetables and fruits but some of them I think let's have a look which ones are fruits so plum and berry while the other three actually orange is a fruit so what I'd actually go with is broccoli and carrot because these two are vegetables whereas the rest of them are fruits so juniper pine zinc fir iron now when you don't know some of these words it can be a bit difficult but I still think you can um, have a guess and uh, most of you know that a pine is a tree and a fir is also another tree and you know what iron is and you know it's not related to these two um, zinc is also another metal so these two are metals whereas juniper, pine and fir are all trees so you're left with these two um, lane, mosque, avenue, alley, temple okay so avenue and alley are both types of street and so is a lane and there you go, you've got three of them that are related and two of them that aren't plate, poppy, glass pansy begonia okay so these two are types of things that you use to eat or drink whereas the rest of them are flowers pal friend sister sister buddy mother all right these two are friends whereas oh there you go that's also a friend so all of these are synonyms whereas sister and mother are different types of relationships they're not to do with friendship they're to do with being blood related steep level flat rough course okay now this one is a bit more complicated if you have a look at what what might be relating these two um, level and flat you might know that that, that mean they're already they're similar in meaning they both mean like that the, the ground is pretty flat or straight um, steep is a bit different it means that obviously the, gr the ground is going upwards um, rough and coarse so here you you would really need to know what coarse means coarse is, is, is a synonym for rough meaning they're both pretty hoarse or rough um, I don't know how else to say it but these two are talking about the texture of the ground texture of the ground whereas the rest of them are talking about the elevation or like how straight or steep it is you know so these two are going to be the odd ones out 
strain, wobble, wiggle, pressure, stress. Okay, so here you can quickly see that these three are quite similar in meaning, and that just gives you these two. Hear, scamper, listen, scuttle, hurry. Okay, so hear and listen sound similar. Um, are synonyms as well. Scamper and scuttle. They sound similar, but they're also a similar type of thing where they're both sort of running away. And hurry would match that compared to listen and hear. <coughs> Which means they're going to be the odd two out. Find the odd two out, yeah. Watch, clock, right, there you go. You got two of them that are similar. Stare as well could match watch. So stare and gaze are definitely similar. So stare, gaze, watch, these three are probably the ones that are related. Um, if you don't know what a chronometer is, it's also another type of thing to measure time or measure something. I'm not, I'm not particularly sure what it measures, but I know it measures something. I would go with clock and chronometer because both of these measure something. Whereas watch, stare, gaze, you're looking at something. Pigeon, mouse, sparrow, parrot, bat, rat, okay. I mean, immediately you just got two of them where they're not birds, the rest of them are birds. So, arid, barren, damp, sterile, muggy. Okay, this one is probably the, the most difficult out of these ones. Let's see, you might know what barren means. Most of these, if you can't do this, you might have to look up some of these words. Um, but barren means that there isn't really any life on, on on the ground so it's really dry and barren is what you'd say so sort of dry is another word for barren arid is a very similar meaning so you can sort of relate these two damp and sterile not really similar so damp just means like hot and wet or cold and wet but like sort of wet and sterile, again, it means like there's nothing really there. Um, there's no life on the ground, there's no life, um, there's no bacteria, etc. So dry would work with sterile, in a sense. Um, the only reason I say that is because muggy means the same thing as hot and wet. Um, so, um, you get these two as being the odd ones out, because the other three are related to each other in the sense that it's... There's no life wherever it is. So if, if ground is barren, barren and dead, that means there isn't any bacteria, any living organisms, etc. Same thing for sterile, same thing for arid. It can also sort of mean dry and dead. But yeah, um, have a look at the tips as well. And when you're going through the next section, try and time yourself to make sure you're doing 30 seconds per question. Always circle words or underline words that you don't understand even if you get the answer right because you want to be looking these words up in the dictionary or on google and keeping a, a list of them so you can actually make sure that if, it, if they come up in the actual exam you will get them right